Okay, so let's do the demand and supply now, and I'm going to cut this chapter 2 into two different videos. The first question is pretty straightforward, it looks pretty straightforward, where the price of roses goes down, the demand for roses what? Now, here you have to remember that the, the demand is never going to change unless you change something else other than the price. So if you change if the price of roses goes down, what's going to change here is the quantity demanded for roses and not the actual demand for roses. In other words, when the price of roses increases or decreases, people don't really want roses more or less. People are not really willing to pay more money than for roses or less money for roses. It's simply that more people are able to afford roses and less people are able to afford roses. So what is changing is the consumption of roses, the quantity of, num of, the quantity of people buying roses, but not the amount of money each person pays for a rose. A change in demand is when the money each person is willing to pay for something changes. So when the price of roses go down, what changes here is, uh, is the quantity demanded for roses. The demand for roses actually stays the same. That's why the answer here is C. Now, when something else other than the price changes, then the whole demand changes. For instance, when the price of carnations goes down, the demand for roses will go down because now people are going to be willing to pay less money for every rose because they rather pay a carnation. They rather, rather buy a carnation. So, the willingness to pay for every for every person for a rose or for most people will go down. So in this case, when the price of carnations go down, the demand for roses will also go down. And if the price of carnation, which is a substitute for roses, if the price of carnations were to go up, then the demand for roses will also go up because people, instead of buying carnations, will buy roses. So when the price of carnation go up, people are willing to buy to pay more money for each rose or to buy more roses for each at each price because they they're not willing to to uh, to buy carnations anymore. So this is another one. This is two two type of of relationship between goods. One is substitutes like beer, uh, like um, carnations and roses. The other one is goods are complements like beer and pizza. These are goods that you you consume together. So uh, you could you for you beer and pizza is just basically one good. For for a lot of people, beer and pizza is just one good. If you cannot buy the pizza then you don't buy the beer and if you cannot afford the beer then you don't like the pizza anymore so when the price of one of the goods go up it's like the whole the, the price of the whole bundle goes up and then the consumption of anything in the bundle will go down so when the price of beer goes down now the 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 cost of the whole bundle of beer and pizza goes down and people will demand more pizza at every price people are going to be willing to pay more money for pizza because there's there's more beer to actually eat that pizza with. So when the price of, of beer goes down, the demand for pizza goes up. So this one is increases. And then the last one on this video is uh, to see if you understand the rationale of why the demand curve is downward sloping. And it goes back to the idea of opportunity cost. Every time the cost of buying a pizza is really the burger you're not able to buy because you use the money to buy pizza. And the cost of buying, uh, um, you know, a car is a bicycle you're gonna, you're not unable, you're not gonna be able to afford. And the cost of buying a bicycle is, you know, whatever pleasure you get from walking home. So, so the the cost of anything is gonna be whatever you give up because you use the money to buy that thing. So the quantity demand of a slice of, of pepperoni pizza falls as the price of the slice rises because it's more exp because the opportunity cost actually um, increases or decreases when the price of pizza changes. In this case, the, the price of pepperoni, um, when the price of, of, of the slide rises, um, the opportunity cost of the pizza is actually increasing, which is uh, option D. So the main thing you have to remember is that the demand curve is, is, is tied up to opportunity cost. Okay, so that's the first part. We're going to do the the second part of the demand part in a different video.